Well, we got a spline shaft here that's wore out. Splines are gone. It's 27 splines on inch and three quarter shaft. It's splines on both ends of it. That's a drive axle for a combine. So I have my indexing head set up on this end that divides the circle into 27 divisions. And tailstock on this end. Cutter on this side. So I'm going to start cutting some splines and then I'll show you some after I get started in here a while. Okay, we got some of our splines cut. Stops working. I got to stop so it stops automatically. Set uh, here. Uh, power feed. I'll show you a little cutting. This is a gauge I use to. Uh, test for the depth and width of cut so you can move uh, kind of hard to do with one hand. You can move this one up and down to find the top of your gear or spline and the other one you can move uh, in and out to find the width of your spline. So you kind of use that to get an idea of where you're at and then you start making cuts and like on this one we have 27 splines so I'll have to go all the way around uh, and then uh, take the tailstock off, back it off, and check it with the coupler to make sure it fits. And if it doesn't fit, then we'll have to make an adjustment, go a little deeper, and go all the way back around. And then try it again. I'll try to give you some different views of uh, this while it's cutting. Using a little flood cooling on it. Yeah, it's on my uh, Cincinnati milling machine, Cincinnati Toolmaster. Break off, go one turn and 13 holes, then we're ready to make another cut. I'll bring you back later. There, we got done with our last pass. I wanted to show you. We slide this back tailstock off, take our coupler, and it slides on there just like it's supposed to. I had to make an extra pass of ten thousandths all the way around on it, but it's nice and tight, no give, no play back and forth, just a slight movement, but it's pretty good. So now I turn it around and do the other end. Well there's the finished shaft, the splines, 27 splines on each side, four and a half inch length. There's a coupler that goes on. 
goes on good. Coupler on both sides. So that job's done. This is the first time I got to use this gauge. Uh, it's pretty, I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's digital. Shuts itself off. Uh, so, you know, you can read it easy. It does inch and metric readings. Uh, and it helped. It saved me some time. It gave me a good idea where to start from when I was making my first cuts. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.